my mom's boyfriend, John. To me, he seems very arrogant and narcissistic. If he was different, I think he would have shown it by now. I found out that John had been talking to one of my mom's young friends. That made me furious. At that point, I really did hate him. I don't like John. He is condescending. How he's talked to me, it makes me feel like I'm five years old. What makes me the angriest about John is the fact that he is trying to replace me as the dad of my children. You didn't raise them. You don't provide for them. You know, that doesn't sit right with me. They're my kids. John says he's not trying to replace Marcus uh, in the, the children's lives, and I really don't think he is trying to do that. And he just doesn't understand why Marcus would feel so threatened by him. Take a look. I saw the relationship issues Nikki was having with her daughters and Marcus well before she told me about them. Nikki would get calls or texts from them that would upset her. You're a mom because you can't do for your kids. You. Goodbye. I love you. Goodbye. <laughs> Skylar's probably the most distant of the girls. I get the feeling that I've offended her somehow. I have no clue what I've done. When the girls talk back and they're disrespectful to Nikki, Marcus does nothing to correct them. I think Marcus uses the girls to cause Nikki pain. He creates false narratives and then sells it as if it's the truth. Marcus has told the girls that it is illegal for them to come visit me at my house because it says so in the divorce decree. I met Marcus the one and only time in November. He had sent Nikki a text saying, we need to have a talk about your parenting and how much your boyfriend's involved. I clandestinely recorded the conversation on the porch. Why would they think such an opposite thing of what I am? Because actions speak louder than words. You know I love my children. Later, Zoe sent this text saying, John will never replace dad. I will never come over as long as you're with him. Whenever Nikki stands up to Marcus about the girls, he begins manipulating the situation. I don't understand why Marcus is so threatened by me. I'm not trying to be a parent. I only want to be as much a part of the girls' lives as they want me to be. John, thanks for joining us. Thanks for uh, having me. You've been listening to everything, right? I have, yes. Anything you want to add? Oh, uh, there's no gold here. Uh, you know, the my perspective here, I, I'm the outsider. You know, uh, uh, I think Nikki and I have something real and solid and, um, and certainly worth building on. Uh, uh, and the only thing I, I want for her is to have uh, is to have a rich, rewarding relationship with, uh, with her children. You have no design on trying to become surrogate dad to these girls, right? Absolutely not. I know how a new man can look coming into a family situation, and I thought maybe I should just introduce myself. Maybe I should go meet Marcus. Oh, so ambushing me on my front porch and recording a conversation is the proper way to introduce yourself? Well, when the conversation I all I wanted to have with her was about the kids had nothing to do with you. Well, You've been around seven months. You, you said so yourself. The only reason you want to have a conversation is so you can tear her down and place a no, new no, narrative no, 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 on no, no, these no, no, girls. No. Don't put words in my mouth, and I did not say that. You should not try to inject yourself in the family dynamic at all. You should not express your opinion about Marcus or about these girls. If you have an opinion, you should share it with her and she can apply it or she should not because you're doomed if you do anything else.